Hello, everyone. Happy Saturday. How's everyone doing out there on your side of the pond? It's Saturday, my friends, and I am here to give you uh, a couple of things today in regards to choices that we have in life, two very, very, very important choices that can really make or break you, help you sink or swim, help you um, thrive or, or go down this path of destruction. And that is learning how to stop blocking, stop blocking the creations that that really are here for you to use, good, bad, or indifferent. And let, and let me be a little more simpler in as far as terms. When I say creations, let's talk about situations. Let's let's call them situations. Let's even call them energy. Let's call it. Um, good, bad, or indifferent, whatever you see that is going on in your life, I want you to understand that these situations are here to potentially, potentially help you grow and use it as a leverage to get you to a a different place, if you will. And one of the things that I always talk about, and it's no secret, is that I say it in, in my book, Truth to Triumph, I say that you choose, you have the innate ability to choose the creations that you wish to experience. But what if I told you that you are really just one brush away from changing the painting on the canvas, if you will? You you have the innate ability to, to really create any, anything that you'd like, really, truly. It's, it's up to you. And it's such a hard thing to, to, to grasp. I know I get it because life happens, right? And things happen and all of a sudden something just kind of plops down on your lap while life seems great. And all of a sudden, wham, you're, something disastrous is going on or, or, or maybe not even to you personally, but maybe something that's going on in our country. Um, maybe something that is a global issue. This, I mean, this is what's going on all the time, right? So how do we navigate through this without losing, losing ourselves? And how do we really use these things uh, to leverage, leverage, us to get into a, a good, a better space, a better place into uh, um, something where we see, we see a positive come out of a negative, or we see that we're able to change that negative and we're able to kind of change the vibration of that and leverage it a different way. Quick story, uh, just to explain a little bit about what I'm talking about on how we can use energy, even if it's, even if it's, it's bad or indifferent for a harmonious outcome. Many years ago, and I tell this story in my book, Truth to Triumph. Many years ago, I, I was pregnant with my son and I was snorkeling in the water in Bermuda and I, uh, I got caught up outside of the lagoon and I was drowning. I had, I could either resist, fight it, or my second choice was to use it. And so I used it, I used it. I used the, the energies of the very waves that were putting me under. I decided not to resist. I said, well, I'm either going to drown or my natural instinct kicked in, or I'm going to use these waves to save my life. And I, I wound up, instead of resisting and fighting the waves, I tried to calm myself and I went along with the waves. And as the ripples and the waves took me eventually to shore, I didn't wind up in that exact spot where I began, of course, of course, it took me down to a different shore in Bermuda, but it saved my life and it took me to a different place. 
And this is what I'm talking about. This is this is no different than what we experience in our everyday situations. And so what I would put to you is that you have two choices, only two, when it comes to a life situation, when it comes to anything that you judge to be uh, good, bad, and different, negative, positive, your two choices are one, destroy yourself, or two, love yourself. You've got to love yourself enough. You've got to love yourself enough, your country enough, your, your humanity enough, your planet enough to care enough and love yourself enough to use a situation and use the energy of it as massive as it is, use it for massive change. Use it for powerful change into a better place. Two choices. What would you choose? I'd like to hear the comments. Would you choose to love yourself or would you choose to destroy yourself? Love you all, my friends. Bye for now.